One of the exciting new features in Video Studio Pro X7, it now comes in the 64-bit version, and that is really great news. With all the new cameras coming out producing HD, 4K, or even 8K, our video editing software must be able to handle that type of volume. And what do I mean? Well, a five-minute clip on your camera could produce anywhere up to two gigabytes of footage. So we must be able to process that. Now, in the 32-bit versions, you are limited to 3.25 gigabytes of RAM. So every time that would fill up, it would start deleting data in order for you to process your video. So if you have three gigabytes or four gigabyte footage, you can quickly see that you're gonna come across a problem. So with the 64-bit, what this means is you now have access to unlimited amount of RAM. Well, not quite, actually. It's 16 exabytes of RAM, and that basically equates to 17 billion gigabytes of RAM. So we might as well say unlimited, because I don't know anybody that has that much RAM. Okay, so that's really great news. So that means you can constantly edit without it having to delete data and then reload more RAM. RAM stands for random excess of memory. All right, but we still need to set up Video Studio in order to handle the 64 and all this new video footage. So let's do that. Let's go into settings. So in settings, go for preferences, and this is your preferences window. First thing I would do in the undo, as you can see, I cranked it right up to 99, because if you're like me, that's how many mistakes I make. <laughs> All right, let's go into our performance tab. So first thing is, if this is not checked, enable smart proxy, please check that, that's very important. Now it says here, create proxy when the video size is above 720 or 480. So anytime you introduce a file that is higher than 720, it will automatically create this proxy file. Now most cameras these days are already be, are starting to produce at 1280 by 720. So I'm going to change this to 1280 by 720. And especially in the 64 bit, I'm not worried for anything that's below 1280 by 720. Proxy folder, just leave that at default. And now we need to change the properties. Auto generate proxy template. If I check this now, you can see that the properties won't match my new settings 1280 and this is 720. So let's create a new properties. If I go into template, I do not see the option of 1280 by 720. So I'm going to add and remove and create my own new. All right, give it a name, HD, and press OK. First thing, general, and I'm gonna look for my frame rate. So by default, it's 15, and I'm gonna bring that right up to 29.97. Now, if you're in the US, I would recommend the 30 frame rate. Frame base, I only have one option, frame base, so that's good. And now I need to match my frame size. To do that, I go to compression, video type, I'm gonna choose H.264 high, you know it as MP4, and I'm going to change my data rate to 4,000, or 4 megabytes. I'm going to go back to general, and in my standard, I now have a new option. If I do the drop down, I can see here 1280 by 720. I'm going to press OK, and I'm going to close it. Now that I have this new template created, I can simply go to template, HD. So now you see it matches perfectly, and I'm going to check auto generate so now i'm good to go as far as my proxy settings go editing process make sure the enable hardware is checked file creation so this is when you want to render out your file make sure both are checked enable hardware decoder and encoder now if encoder is grayed out this basically means your gpu does not support this and last performance optimization have this checked as well and this is very important because this will uh, optimize your performance of using the 64-bit version. So in part two, I'll show you how to set up your project settings ready to edit out high-definition videos.